Hello everyone, having problems with getting the Realtek HD Audio Manager to work on Windows 10 64-bit? If your sound card chip is on your motherboard and the Realtek HD Audio Manager is not working, then your motherboard actually does not support the version of Realtek audio drivers you have just downloaded and installed from the Realtek website. So if you're going to their website and you're clicking on downloads and you're trying to get the high definition audio codecs and you'll notice here audio drivers available for download from Realtek website are general drivers for audio ICs and may not offer the customizations made by your system motherboard manufacturer. So your motherboard uh, manufacturer has changed the Realtek drivers to, to suit what they need. Um, and so let's take a look and see what we got to do to get this fixed. So the first thing you'll want to do is get your motherboard's name by going to the Windows menu and typing in CMD uh, for command prompt. And once you typed in CMD, you'll see it says command prompt here. Go ahead and click on that. Okay, and once you're in the command prompt, you're going to want to type WMIC baseboard space get product baseboard stands for motherboard and uh, go ahead and hit enter and now you've got the name of the motherboard you can go ahead and highlight that and copy and paste it to Google if you want or you can just type it into Google so once you've pasted it into Google go ahead and search and you'll find that uh, it will come up with the manufacturer of your motherboard, their website. You'll want to go to that manufacturer's website specifically uh, to find the Realtek, customized Realtek drivers for your motherboard. So here we're going to go ahead and go to uh, support and my motherboard is made by Asus. Drivers and tools. Please select operating system. Uh, and it says here the menu options are Windows 10, 64-bit, or 32-bit. So then we're going to go ahead and scroll down until we find the audio. You'll notice Realtek Audio Drivers. This is the version that we need that's specific to the motherboard that you will have. Again, your motherboard website may have a, look different than Asus if it's not an Asus. Go ahead and click Download. Once it's downloaded, You'll want to go ahead and uh, go to your downloads folder and look for the audio 6.0.1.82, etc. file that you downloaded. It'll be compressed zip folder, most likely. Go ahead and open that. And then once you've opened that folder, you'll want to go ahead and scroll down until you'll see setup application. Now, if you are just running the sound card chipset off your motherboard and that's it, you might be able, actually just be able to install the new drivers and you're good to go. You don't even probably have to uninstall the old ones. Uh, I've heard that it worked for people uh, just by installing the new ones as the most recent update. Uh, if you want to do a clean install, you can uninstall the drivers and then reinstall the new ones you just downloaded from the motherboard website. Uh, but I can tell you, this will work for you and you'll be back on your way to gaming uh, watching your media, having your microphone work. Um, now, if you have uh, mic problems uh, and a third-party sound card, so let's say you have uh, the chipset on your motherboard, but you also have, for example, like a Creative Labs sound card uh, as well in a, in a PCI slot uh, and Sound Blaster software, additionally, above and beyond the Realtek software, <clears throat> Uh, for example, with 5.1 audio ports in the rear and a headset and mic port in the front, and you're and you're connected with that third pounds part uh, third party sound card, uh, and you also have the chipset on the motherboard, which probably has an optical port. You will still need the Realtek HD audio manager downloaded and working simultaneously with your third party sound card management control software as well, like the Sound Blaster software for the Creative Labs sound card uh, 
many times this is not done right and the Realtek HC Audio Manager will not work properly and the mics won't work. So in my next video I'm going to show uh, proper installation of how to avoid any conflicts uh, uh, by installing in the proper process for installing the drivers for the Realtek uh, HD Audio Manager and then the Sound Blaster or third-party card. And just so you know, this is what the HD Realtek Audio Manager should look like. As you can see, it says Asus. It's a customized version of the Audio Manager. Uh, and if you do see more of a customized one for your motherboard, then you've done the right thing. If it comes from the manufacturer, your computer comes from the manufacturer and has the older version, uh, they may have just actually just downloaded directly from Realtek. And again, that could be causing mic problems. Um, your, maybe your audio manager isn't showing up. Maybe you reinstalled the Realtek audio manager and it's not working. But this should solve your problem, guys. All right, thanks.